it's just impossible to discount the enthusiasm gap in this election. I don't know how how else you describe it. Ross wants to to chime in and talk a little bit about the uh, the enthusiasm of both sides. Hey, Ross, welcome to the Mike Gallagher Show. How are you? Hey, I'm doing good, Mike. Thanks for taking my call. Hey, I'm a university professor, a PhD, so one of the rare birds that are in the liberal arts that's uh, supporting Trump. I'm voting Republican for the first time in my life. I've always voted third party. My wife is voting Republican for the first time in her life. My wife's mother is voting for the first time in her life for Trump. And I have friends that are doing the same thing. Um, you know, I don't see this so much um, among my students, but also that's because it's an echo chamber uh, in the classroom, honestly, and there's no space for conservative students to speak. Um, but, 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 yeah. students shocked at your, your ideology and your beliefs? Um, yeah, I, w- I, I would say so. And I, and I don't, I don't trump at them, but they're not used to it. Right. I mean, no. most of their professors are, are, are I'm sure are, are very, very, very liberal. One, 100, 100 percent. And, 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 and they're, they're shocked into silence because they never have to deal with, with an opposing viewpoint. Um, and, and I try to create a classroom where, where everybody uh, can speak and feel comfortable doing so, but they just, they just can't. It's, it's really sad. I, 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 is it hard for you? How difficult is you to survive in the environment you're in? It's 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 really difficult. It's becoming increasingly difficult. Uh, I actually fear for my my job security. I don't let my colleagues know about about my uh, political leanings uh, overtly because I I don't have tenure yet, and my family's in a precarious place. My wife has already lost her job due to the uh, authoritarian measures uh, uh, enacted by our governor here. So, are, is it fair to say, though, that you're you're not going to be intimidated and you're going to continue to to hold true to your beliefs? One hundred percent. And my beliefs have, have, have not only changed, uh, I, I would say, in in the past few years, they've also been incredibly strengthened. Um, this is my first time calling into a radio show, for example, and finding myself doing all sorts of things that I didn't do before because I, I feel empowered uh, to do so, and I, I know that what I'm doing is right. About how uh, how much guts it takes to fly a, a, a Trump flag or put a yard sign. We've heard Ooh. reports signs being stolen, but people have never done that before, and that's how excited they are. That's how enthusiastic they are, and that enthusiasm, it's not its not going to evaporate. No matter what happens, it's not going to go away. Uh, I appreciate yeah. so much your, thought, your perspective, your thoughtful uh, uh, call today, Professor, and may a lot of our listeners' uh, kids find their way into your classroom.